Spearhead and Max right here. You're getting them both. You're getting Spearhead looking a little bit like Duke version 3. And Max is little Bobcat. All of it right here. I'll give you a quick size marker, about 3 and 3 quarter inch. No surprises there. And he does come, I believe, complete. Um, I will tell you, he does come with all of these things you see right here. And I think that's complete. Uh, but you do your own homework to make sure. Show you the helmet right here. Make sure you see that. In great shape all the way around. The same with what at first you might think is a uh, perhaps a Night Force backpack. It is not. Whoop. Jumping away from me there. See that? We'll show you Spearhead or uh, Max rather. And very, very nice. Get him to focus. And from more or less all angles, here's his firearm. Does not want to focus because it's trying to look at all that goodness on the back. And then this knife. Uh, a lot of figures shared this knife. And surprisingly, I don't know of any Cobra figures. This, to me, always seemed like a Cobra knife. This seemed like something Serpentor should have. Kind of in between a knife and a sword and who knows. Uh, why so many of them have it, I don't know. I'm guessing someone at Hasbro is enamored of it. Looking at you, Ron Rudette. But who knows? So I'll show you the figure itself now as we move right through. We're going to look for any kind of uh, issues paint job wise on the hair. I'm not seeing any. We're getting some shine on it from the light, but no uh, rub near as I can tell. We're looking at the bandolier. Looks pretty good. Thumbs look fantastic. Let's take a look at those elbows. Yep, elbows are looking good. Crotches there, intact and in place. Knees to focus. Feet. So no real paint wear that I'm seeing on this. Everything else seems to be pretty good. We'll flip them over and we'll do the same. We'll check them out real quick. Elbows looking nice. And we'll even show you the bottom of the feet because why not? We'll give them the flop test. So a little bit floppy in the, in the waist. Still stands perfectly fine. Not real floppy. I mean, he doesn't fall by itself. It's just when I give it that flop and the elbows knees, shoulders, and the rest of his joints are looking. So all around, pretty good piece. Sometimes you got to get spearhead separately from Max. Most of the times you got to hunt down all these weapons, including this firearm, which I really, really love. But right here, you don't got to do it. You're going to get them all. Head on over to thebigtoyauction.com to see this and all his drinking buddies. This is Spearhead and Max from the G.I. Joe 3 and 3 quarter inch line.